Hi guys, welcome to the weekly reading um, for the collective consciousness, which means the general population. This is for um, April 23rd through April 30th, which happens to be the last week of April. I cannot believe we're already at the end of the month. Um, I will be putting out the monthly reading um, for May, so I'm excited to see what May has in store for us, so please look out for that. Please like this video if it resonates with you, and if you like it, um, that would be really, really great for the channel, for my channel. Um, please also subscribe if you like this content, if you'd like to get notified of content like this, which right now is just the weekly and the monthly readings. But the more that this YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel builds up, the more content, um, will be coming out. So go ahead and do that. And then of course, if any of this resonates with you, I love hearing the comments, you know, put them down below and any feedback that you have questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, um, please put it there. All right, guys, let's jump right into it because we've got... Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of see what the week has in store for us. Um, and we're doing 15 uh, cards here. So, okay, we have action needed. All right, so we have Treasure Island. Okay, so this tells me that you guys know, if you've been watching the weeklies, that we've been going through this massive change lately. Everybody, okay, so everybody. So if you're seeing a lot of five energy, um, the five number over and over and over again, um, for months I'm talking, um, things are starting to come to fruition and, and things are starting to appear. Now, this Treasure Island tells me as far as action needed is that things aren't going the the way that, we're, that we wanted them to or as smoothly as we wanted them to. Like, it's not enough smooth sailing. And so when you're on rough seas, basically, the tre you know, you're looking for treasure. You're looking for the silver lining is another way to say it of, of, of really, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily feel so heavy or quote unquote bad but it definitely does feel like things are not going your way okay what comes to my mind is like moving you know if people are because to me that's a huge change right moving there's a lot that can kind of go wrong okay so in the transition period of our change from our old life to our new life something is just not necessarily um going the way that we'd like them to go and so basically spirit is asking us to look for that silver line look for that treasure and then we have the nine energy in the corner here that i wanted to point out i know i mentioned the five but this is actual nine on the card nine is always about ending so basically spirit is trying to say look you're almost there it's just really about finding the the positives and all of these negatives essentially um and and seeing the silver lining of things like you're almost there it's totally worth it um it's just about kind of finding again that silver lining okay so what do we need besides that? Okay, we have the fool. Fearlessly revealing emotion. Helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, this is really solidifying what I just said. Basically, how do we laugh at ourselves? Like we need to find the humor in all the things that are going wrong. Okay, that's basically what Spirit is trying to say. It's like, look, I just told you, like you gotta find the treasure and the really, you know, the situations that aren't going your way. And now they're saying you also need humor with that, okay? So there's not too much more to say there, but um, you know, not the smoothest week, we'll say, um, especially when it comes to the changes that are happening. But we can navigate it um, with some humor and then finding the silver lining, okay? Okay, challenge. Well, so far those two things are a challenge, right? Um, time out. Okay, so the challenge this week specifically on top of what we just talked about here is um, we need uh, finding a timeout, finding time to um, uh, take a break, right? And so definitely already this is telling me that it's gonna be a really busy week and there's not too much to say about that, but if you can try to find that, like basically Spirit is giving me this image of you like scarfing down your lunch on your lunch period basically, or your, not period, break. Well, maybe if you're in school, right? Um, but uh, it's just gonna be really challenging to find carving out any time this week. So that already is telling us, telling me how busy this week is going to be. So, which I kind of figured guys, I, I said for the monthly for April that it's going to be like more of like a social and things are kind of like picking up. So I'm actually not surprised by that. Uh, being we're still in April here. Um, okay. Surprise Hunter track down your fear and, and desires. Amazing. Okay. So this is actually really good. So how are we going to, what, what's the surprise of this week? I feel like it's surprising ourselves. Like we're going to, um, the way that I look at this and interpret this is like, um, tracking down our fears, basically, um, not being fearless per se. And I actually just put this, if you guys watch my shorts, um, one of the daily cards was really about fear was, you know, spirit doesn't expect you to be fearless. I mean, it's a very common human emotion that needs to be expressed. And it's again, very, very common. 
um, but you feel the fear and do it anyway. And that's the kind of feeling that I get. So guys, even though the week seems to kind of been beating us up a little bit already to the start of it, um, you're gonna surprise yourself by how well you handle it and how well that you are really just doing things that are really scary to you. Um, and so this doesn't actually have to be the big change that's happening in your life. This could be really anything and how it applies to you. So it'll manifest differently for different people, but I, I definitely will say most of you guys are definitely um, pushing past the fear to get to your desires, to get to what you actually truly want. And so, um, you know, maybe you have a message to spread and, um, you don't like going on live video, for example, but um, you decide to go on live video this week because your message is too important, something like that. But you're surprising yourself, okay? And so um, by, by pushing past these fears, so good job, guys. Um, but like I said, people that accomplish anything, they don't do it because they're fearless. They, they literally feel the fear and do it anyway, right? Um, if you guys have followed me for a long time, you know I love the cliches. Okay, issue. Um, new life. Interesting that this is coming up in the issue slot. So that is telling me, I'm telling you guys, it's so apparent at this point. I know we're only in the first row here. We're not even halfway done, but it definitely does feel like it, it almost feels like our new life is not obtainable because of whatever those obstacles that we have in the, in the beginning of the week, in the, in, in, uh, the, the, transformation piece from our old life to our new life. So that's an issue is that we're feeling like we can't get to the new life. So spirit is coming through and guys, I am validating and confirming the new life is coming. It just has a few snags. Okay. So it's, and I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my gosh, I do not have the patience for this. Yes, you do. So I wouldn't be surprised if a patience card comes up somewhere in here, but something is telling me to tell you guys, uh, have some patience. It's coming. There, there's a few, things that maybe uh, need to be, you know, loose ends that need to be tied up and obstacles that need to be, you know, hoops that need to be jumped through, but it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, okay? Um, and so you guys really need to hear that for this week. Don't give up, okay, and keep going forward. And it's also not a um, sign that you shouldn't be going forward, right? Because sometimes I get that people say, oh, it's not that easy. Um, you know, should I keep, should I keep going forward? It's, there's a difference between forcing something and, you know, the universe kind of testing us with these obstacles, right? And it's definitely the latter. Okay. We have, what would you focus on? Goddess, the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. Yeah. So guys, um, you know, every, this is for the collective. This means, you know, whatever gender that you, uh, identify with this this is about this is about energy about the goddess energy which is the the epitome of the feminine energy like the maternal energy the the um the you know the mother archetype is another one so basically this is about like focusing on um expressing yourself in a way that's more feminine so um uh connecting to your emotions um using your intuition um uh using your, your, your life force energy. And so basically what spirit is trying to say here is just like focus on that, which is very interesting considering that this is turning out to be a very busy week, but you could all, you could be busy in the feminine like that. And I, that's probably actually why it's coming through because the masculine is always about the doing, doing, doing. And then the, the goddess, um, the feminine energy is always about the being. So how could you be and tap into that? That's a question that maybe you can ask yourself or journal on. Um, while you have this really crazy week where things are nonstop doing, right? How do you focus and tap into that feminine energy? That's really what Spirit is trying to say. What can we reflect on this week? Okay, perseverance. Oh my God, what a big word, but it, and it packs a big punch. Uh, but oh, so simple, right? And so this is, I love that it's like right under these obstacle cards here, right up here, talking about that obstacle, where we reflect on how, you know, perseverance just means how we keep going in the face of adversity. Okay, that's what really perseverance is. How do we become more resilient? How do we become more resourceful? It's because of these situations. You don't, um, this is the law of polarity in its, in its wildest form is, um, how do we know how to be resilient if we don't have obstacles in our lives? Basically, it's kind of like, how do you know the light if you don't know what the dark is? Okay. And that's what this is saying. So there's a lot of reflection around how you deal with challenges, how you deal with obstacles this week, and it's only helping you grow. 
um, and it's only helping you build, and there's a reason there's a four there, okay? Um, it's helping you build um, a foundation of how to um, de deal with, with, with life in general going forward just by dealing with these obstacles. So there's a lot to learn this week with, with you know, guys, I'm telling you to get through the week. It's so important that we remember, um, we remember this, right? Um, sometimes I call it like spiritual amnesia where we're like, we forget like how far we've come and the things that we've over overcome. Um, so it's important that we remember this week and remember that we're going through this for a reason. We've got to push through and, and um, this will only make us stronger people physically. Okay, we have responsibilities. What do we got going on here? Warless, uh, warless. <laughs> Guys, please, I didn't have enough sleep last night. All right, we have warrior, okay, which is a combination of war, uh, warrior and fearless. Um, but we have be fearless and stand strong. Okay, so the fear is coming up again. Um, like I said, it's not necessarily about the being fearless. It's about feeling the fear and pushing against it, right? And so that's our responsibility. I mean, guys, this week is totally, if I could just like, sum it up really quick like i know we're halfway through we you know finished the other half but i definitely do feel like it's it's um it's a week of of um being strong creating strength for us creating like i said this you know i talk a lot about how we get our power and our power comes from this so it's totally a powerful week and so how it relates to responsibilities in this way is kind of like you're still getting like even though all of the stuff is going on around you, you still get your stuff done. You still are, you take care of your responsibilities. You're still, you're still committed to the things that you've committed to before these obstacles came into your life. So this week. So all I can say is, wow, you're amazing. And um, don't worry about the things that are already planned because, um, or the responsibilities that you have, because they're gonna get done. You're just gonna push through, okay? Um, okay, we have money and finances. To the sea. Okay, so this is definitely more on the feminine side as well. To the sea, this means inflow. Um, so I definitely do feel like um, despite everything kind of happening this week, like a kind of crazy week, finances look good, career looks good, money looks good. So um, if your obstacle has to do with something with career, I, I definitely see it going in a, in a really um, aligned flow type way. So um, which is basically what the to the sea is really all about. So nothing negative to say here. So don't worry about money. Like literally money should be the last thing on your mind this week or, you know, it's basically, a, and I feel like a lot of you will adopt this is it, it's basically a waste of time to really think about money this week because don't worry, it'll flow. It'll get there. That's the least of your worries basically is what spirit is trying to say. All right. What kind of change, even though we're going through a massive change, um, okay, we have divine child, what we have in the shadow, an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. Okay, so this is really about, um, hold on, let me move this. Inability to defend oneself against negative forces. Okay, so this feels like um, not being able to stick up for yourself. This feels like um, not being able to stand in your power. That's going to change. I'm not shocked. What did I just say? <laughs> About, about this week and coming into her power. I mean, it's so crazy um, how all of these cards are really pointing to connecting to her own power and, and being more powerful. So I'm not surprised here. So this is something about, you know, healing your inner child, having more power, standing up for yourself. That's really the, the, the at least short term, like I said, I know a lot of us are in like massive change here, but the short term change for this week definitely you're, you're noticing you're becoming a stronger person for sure. Standing up for yourself, that kind of thing. Okay, what can we say about friends this week? Synchronicity, okay, awesome. So synchronicity is basically when everything is in flow, right? Flow, alignment, um, and then you get signs from it. So basically um, you, you get, uh, uh, things start to click. You think about uh, a TV show you haven't seen in a really long time, you go to the dentist office and uh, it's, on, it's on the television. It's not a popular TV show either, right? And so that's synchronicity. It's like that things that you're thinking about um, happen. You know what's been happening to me a lot with synchronicities is um, I'm either like typing something out, like I'm writing something and, uh, you know, watching something at the same time. And as I type the word, the person speaks it on the screen. And sometimes it's, it's, you know, not like a super common word, like divine, for example, like it's, you know, I think I got that the other day. I'm like, 
oh my gosh, this is so cool, you know? And so those are just signs from the universe, our guides, you know, blending the two world, worlds, right? Giving us, you know, saying like, no, you're on the, you know, you're on the right track, you're on the aligned track. And so what that means when it's regarding our friends is that I definitely do feel like things are really good with friendships this week. Nothing that I could say would, uh, be of concern. What I can say is that this might be, at least for some of us, is that a lot of things align where our friendships get closer. So, you know, to put an example of friendships is that maybe you are thinking of somebody that you used to be friends with and you kind of just drifted apart and then you bump into them this week or something like that. Like that's how I can see this coming to fruition here. So it'll manifest differently for a lot of people, but again, you don't have to worry about finances this week and money. You don't have to worry about your friendships. Everything looks, you know, really, really great and aligned in those areas, which is really awesome. So you can just take care of the other obstacles that are happening in, in, in your life. Romantic connection. Unleash the wild within. Woof. All right. It's a good week for romantic connection. So this is a very uh, she-wolf uh, unleash the wild within. Um, let's just say... It feels like a very sexy week. Um, it definitely does feel like a lot of romantic connection. So if you're partnered up with somebody, it's a really good week to stop and smell the roses. And, um, you know, uh, if you can carve out a date night or, you know, um, some intimate time uh, with your partner. If you're single, this is a great week for dating. So, but by the way, not sure how that's going to happen with all the craziness that's happening in the week, but it's helpful. Okay, and I do see it happening. So um, I definitely, whew, we've got a good week in all areas here. We've got our friendships, we've got our romantic connections and our money and our finances are, wow, amazing. It's just the transformation from old life to new life is a little chaotic, that's all. Um, and that's all, like it's like nothing I'm saying. <laughs> like it's nothing, which is, it's really chaotic. So if your change has to do with any one of these areas, by the way, which maybe it does because these are really the big areas of life, right? Um, I will definitely say it's going to come out in your favor, but I mean, you already know that I feel like, right? It's, 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 I, you already know that your new life is waiting for you. It just, it, you know, some of us are going to kind of backtrack and say, oh my God, I feel like it's never going to get here. You know, it's going to get here deep down, you know, in, you know, in your soul that it is. Um, but it, everything is, like I said, turning out in your favor and there's not too much to worry about in all of those big areas of, of your life. Um, okay. Message in a bottle. So this is important. So um, can, this is all about communication. So this is a great week to over communicate. If you feel like, you know, you're texting somebody and you're like, oh, well, did I tell them to say you're moving, for example? Oh, did I did I tell the movers that I have um, uh, two couches instead of one? Uh, I'm not sure if I did. Over communicate. Send the email to the movers and say, you know, hey. Uh, I have, I just want to confirm that I told you we had two couches and not one. You want to do this because it's important with all of the, the moving parts of the week. Okay. Is that you over, over communicate and there's no such thing as, um, too much communication this week. Okay. So communicate, communicate, communicate. And I feel like a lot of us need to hear that. Okay. All right. Health and wellness. Oh, let's see. Is this a good place? Uh, is this a good area as well this week? Thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Okay, so we have the seeker when it comes to health and wellness. So, um, and truth wherever they are. Okay, so um, some of us um, could be seeking answers to why we're so tired all the time or any kind of health uh, related issue, um, even, you know, any type of physical issue, um, you know, seeking answers. So I definitely do feel like um, this is a week of, could be, at least for some of us, um, I know with everything kind of going on, but at least with some of us, it feels like it's a good idea to kind of like research and, and look for potential um, answers to issues that you may have in, in the health and wellness. This includes mental, spiritual, um, emotional, physical. Okay, so um, it's important that you do at least spend the time with that. And it's kind of like, you know, we couldn't have all areas being, you know, top notch this week, but again, it's not like our, our health is bad or anything like that, but, um, it does feel like you need to take out a little time of your week to really, you know, uh, do some research and like figure out kind of what's going on with you and kind of connecting the dots a little bit. Now this doesn't guarantee that you'll connect the dots this week, but I definitely do feel like, um, spending the time to really figure that out is, is going to be, or at least start to figure that out is important. 
Um, okay, and this last one here is compassion. We've had this one before for the overall outcome. I'm actually not surprised. We begin with a nine, we end with two nines. Um, guys, it really, like, I, I knew that this change that we've been all feeling has been so long and drawn out. <laughs> But I am so happy to be seeing nines because that means we're coming to the end, okay? And so I haven't seen nines in a really long time. Um, and they are jumping out all over the place here. So, um, and beginning and end, I mean, come on. This is basically saying like we're going into May really with more of our new life, okay? So it's our one last push. I'm actually not surprised that there's, a, you know, there's maybe some more obstacles that we need to, you know, the finishing touch uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, because it's almost done we're almost on the final stretch right it's kind of like when you're running a marathon and that last um half mile you know your shoe becomes untied then you have to go to the bathroom and then and you feel like your leg is giving out and it's just like you're at the final stretch and it almost seems like all these obstacles still keep coming on oops sorry guys um still keep you know uh it seems like they're all coming at once um you know and and that could really uh make us feel like oh my god will i actually make it right that card up there you will make it, okay? And you also have to have compassion for yourself, okay? That's where this compassion comes from. Obviously, have it for other people, but this is where it comes from. That's what I always think of when this compassion card comes out, and especially that double nine. It's saying, please have compassion for yourself. You're almost there. You've you've done so much work to get where you, you, you know, to that new life that you really want, and just, you know, continue to keep going, um, to continue to keep going. So I'm actually going to say, I see this as a really positive week because we are really knocking these obstacles out of the damn park. We are being fearless and we are doing the damn thing anyway. And we are stepping into our power and um, everything looks good. I, you know, I, there's not much I can say. There's not much I can say. So what a beautiful, beautiful week. All right, guys. I'll be doing the monthly soon. I'm excited about May. This really is a really great reading going into May. Um... Like I said, if you guys like the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this type of content. So that's it, guys. I'm done. Have a good one. Bye.